Hello everyone, and welcome to my Young and Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Young and the Restless spoilers indicate that Claire Grace is depressed following her rejection by Katie Abbott. It is obvious that Katie doesn't think Claire is a member of the family and doesn't trust her. Perhaps Claire could do something kind to help things along, even though Katie would eventually soften. Katie hasn't been around to witness Claire's improvements because she's been away at boarding school. In the end, maybe Claire could accomplish something that would show Katie that she is reliable. This leads us to some clues regarding Katie and a potential plot that the show has been revealing. First of all, as Victoria Newman noted, Katie views herself as a teenager and anticipates being treated as such, even though she is only 11 years old. Because Katie imitated Johnny Abbott, Claire also thought that Katie appeared a little older. Y&R appears to be laying the groundwork for a plot in which Katie attempts to act a little too maturely and ends up in some sort of problem. That reminds me of Cassie Newman's experience and observe how things worked out for her. Johnny's comment that Katie was experiencing some problems with a boy she liked at school was another possible hint. That could be related to some impending trouble if it leads Katie to develop feelings for another boy in Geno City. It's not difficult to picture Katie sneaking out of the house and going on joy rides with some local teenagers. Some 13 or 14 year olds may naively get into a car without somebody with a license behind the wheel. If Claire finds Katie and follows her trail, maybe she could be the one to save the day. If Y and R goes down that dramatic path, Claire might even need to assist after a vehicle accident. However, Claire might defend Katie in another risky circumstance. Claire might just need to push Katie out of the way of a falling light fixture to save her from a strange accident. That would be all. Nevertheless, our forecasts indicate that Katie and Claire will eventually make a breakthrough, so we'll keep you informed of any exciting developments that could signal that. That brings us to some hints that the show's been dropping about Katie and a possible storyline. For starters, Victoria Newman pointed out that although Katie is 11, she considers herself a teenager and expects to be treated that way. Claire also assumed that Katie acted a bit older because she copied Johnny Abbott. It seems like Y and R could be setting up a story where Katie perhaps tries to be a little too grown up and gets herself into some trouble. That sounds reminiscent of what happened to Cassie Newman and look how things turned out for her. Another potential clue came when Johnny mentioned Katie having some issues with a boy she liked at school. If that paves the way for Katie to crush on another boy in Geno City, it might tie in with some brewing danger. It's easy to imagine Katie sneaking out of the house and going joyriding with some teens in town. There might be some kids who are 13 or 14 that foolishly hop in a car without anyone having a license at the wheel. Perhaps Claire could play the hero if she realizes Katie is missing and tracks her down. Claire might even have to help following a car crash if Y and R takes that dramatic route. Then again, Claire might step up for Katie in some other dangerous situation. It could be as simple as Claire coming to Katie's rescue and helping her avoid a freak accident, like shoving her out of the path of a falling light fixture. Regardless, our predictions point to Katie and Claire having a breakthrough sooner or later so we'll give you updates on any heroic news that might lead to that. The young and the restless spoilers say Claire will do whatever she can to prove herself to Katie, so stay tuned. According to teasers for the young and the restless, Claire will stop at nothing to establish her worth to Katie, so keep an eye out. Young and the restless teasers indicate that Sharon Newman will reflect a bit more on the past week of June 24 to 28, that does not guarantee that pleasant memories will be the only ones that surface. The less desirable parts of Sharon and Nick Newman's romantic past weren't avoided while they were telling Faith Newman about their love tale. 
Sharon may, however, reflect on such experiences sooner rather than later because her personal past includes some unpleasant events. In any event, Sharon will look back on her life and perhaps be reminded of some unpleasant things. This leads us to a possible spoiler alert for the episode that airs on June 24. Victor Newman is going to talk about the time the Newman Ranch caught fire. Perhaps there's a reason this episode keeps coming up, since Sharon was the one who started that fire and was later diagnosed with bipolar disorder. Sharon may possibly address the ranch fire in her reflection on June 25. All of this could be setting up for further unsettling behaviors driven by Sharon's bipolar illness. Fans of Y and R will remember that Sharon's doctor started her on new bipolar medications, which have been interfering with her emotions and sleep. Though Sharon thinks she just needs to get through this phase of adjustment, what if there's more going on here? If the doctor is working with an adversary, there may be a darker side at work. However, it's possible that Sharon is just not responding well to these medications, and that, should things worsen, her prescription has to be altered. In any case, on June 28, Sharon will issue insos, who will she call in, and why? Sharon might give 911 a call, but it's probably more probable that she'll turn to Nick. Sharon knows she can rely on Nick to answer her phone, and that he is trustworthy, Whatever Sharon needs, Nick will always be there to provide it. Will Sharon exhibit concerning behavior if her bipolar symptoms worsen? Will Sharon call Nick to come aid her when she realizes she's losing her grasp on reality? We'll keep you updated on Nick's future developments as our Y and R predictions indicate that he will be receiving updates regarding a troubling scenario. When Sharon and Nick Newman were recounting their love story to Faith Newman, they didn't shy away from the uglier moments of their romantic history. However, Sharon's personal history comes with some traumatic ordeals as well, so she might think back on those soon enough. Whatever the case, Sharon will indeed take a look back at her life and make it some unsettling reminders. That brings us to a potential hint in the upcoming June 24 episode when Victor Newman will mention the time the Newman Ranch burned down. Sharon was to blame for that fire and was ultimately diagnosed with bipolar disorder, so maybe there's a reason why that incident is being brought up again. The ranch blaze might even be something that Sharon reflects on in the June 25 show. All this might be building to some other disturbing actions fueled by Sharon's bipolar disorder. Why and our fans will recall that Sharon's doctor put her on new bipolar meds, which have been affecting her sleep as well as her emotions. Although Sharon feels like she just needs to get through this adjustment period, what if something else is happening here? It's possible something sinister is going on if the doctor's in cahoots with an enemy. Then again, maybe Sharon simply isn't reacting well to these meds and will need her prescription changed back if things get worse. Regardless, Sharon will send out in SOS on June 28, so who will she summon and why? There's a chance Sharon will call 911, but it's perhaps more likely that it'll be Nick who she turns to. Stay closely as teasers for the young and the restless indicate that Sharon will get into some problems and need help. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.